हेलो एंड वेलकम फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज रंजय एंड यू आर वाचिंग टेक्नो रंजय एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ जावा ट्यूटोरियल एंड इन द जावा ट्यूटोरियल वी वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द इनकैप्सुलेशन सो इनकैप्सुलेशन इज बेसिकली द टाटा बाइंडिंग विथ मेथड्स सो इफ यू हैव अ समथिंग वेरिएबल्स प्रजेंट इन अ क्लास देन how you can bind that particular data with the methods that that will see in the pra that will we will see in the practical way so we are using eclipse uh, id this is the framework you can prefer any other also like netbeans and intellij so let's go and start so after coming in the eclipse you just go to the uh, right click and here it is java project okay and so here is the project name it is asking so project name what we will encapsulation 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 so you can give any project name that uh, you like and just go into the next and after just go and finish it okay here this project is now completed and in this project what we will going to do is here you just go and click uh, you can you can simply click the class so encapsulation class what we will do is data binding okay we will give the name data binding or you can use any of your name as your choices so i'm i'm showing you as an example so you just give any name here and your project folder is in uh, encapsulation just click on the public static void man so that your main method will be distributed here okay just go and finish it so after finishing it uh my our uh, this class which uh, data binding is appearing here with the main methods okay so what we will have to do in in encapsulation that we have suppose we have two variables so in java two variables let's take int roll number okay so this is the integer value denoted for the roll number ab and a string value take some string value a string value as a name okay so we are declaring two variables in our class that is data binding okay and in main methods what will have to do we have to in order to access that particular data in a in a class we will firstly we will have to create a object of that particular class okay so what we will have to do we we create an object with the help of the new keyword so we will type data binding and keep the ref db we are taking db as a reference variable and here new data binding okay so this let's close this so we have successfully created the object so what encapsulation means is that you cannot access that particular data in any of the method without using the help the help of any of the method so directly accessing suppose db dot roll number is not valid way okay so what this is not valid way in order to access any of the variables or the data so what encapsulation says 
that you will have to define some methods and the method name is setter and getter so in order to take a setter and getter method in eclipse it's very easy just go and right click that particular uh, class in that particular class and here it is showing source so just go in the source method and here it is generate getters and setter so here select both of them and generate the getters and setters so we have get so this is the getter and setter method we have successfully generated that okay we have these methods and this is the main method okay now now we can access that particular variables with the help of these methods now one one thing we must have to do that any of the variable must be private so that it cannot be accessed uh, outside of the class private is the access modifier private is the access modifier which is not accessible outside of the class so this is your uh, class and we are taking the help of the method which is public and public can be accessible outside of the class anywhere from the class so in order to in order to get the get the role number we will just put a method get and in order to set the role number we we have a method set role number so now what we will have to do in the main method just come and here is the db dot we will say set name okay and give the name as suppose techno this is the name we have set now db dot set roll number so we will set roll number also so roll number suppose uh, this is 10 and in order to get in order to fetch that roll number what we will have to do we have a method syso system dot out dot print talent so in this what we will have to do is we just give the reference variable the object dot db dot name sorry db dot get get name and in next one is also the same db dot get roll number okay so now we have completed our coding for the encapsulation and just save it and let's go and run the encapsulation methods that okay so here let's go and run as a java application so he see this is uh, we have got the output on the console that is techno dot techno as a name and 10 as a roll number so this is actually the method that is defining by the encapsulation is that data binding data binding with the method is known as encapsulation binding of a data with the method is known as encapsulation okay so you can also write this in this way okay name equal to uh, and here what we will concatenate it okay roll number equal to and just concatenate it ok 
okay save it run this here so we have got this name is equal to techno and the roll number is equal to 10 so this is the method we just have to use so for the time being this is the encapsulation method so please like and comment also if you have learned something and please subscribe our channel for the next video okay so thanks for watching